Today's medical-centric topic is High Lipase Milk Causes, Effects, and How to Manage Which Breaks Down Fats Faster Than Usual This can be concerning for breastfeeding mothers as it sometimes leads babies to refuse the milk. Understanding the causes, effects, and ways to manage high Lipase milk can help you ensure your baby receives the nutrients they need. 1. What causes high lipase in breast milk? Lipase is a naturally occurring enzyme in breast milk that helps break down fats, making them easier for babies to digest. Some women have higher lipase levels, which causes the fats to break down more rapidly, altering the milk's taste and smell. While this is completely safe for the baby, it can lead to an unpleasant taste that some babies may dislike. 2. Effects of High Lipase Milk Although high lipase milk is safe for babies to consume, it can lead to Changes in taste After expressing and storing milk, the breakdown of fats causes a soapy, sour, or metallic taste, especially noticeable after a few hours or days. Baby Refusal some babies may refuse milk with a different taste, leading to feeding challenges. Understanding these effects can help you identify if high lipase milk may be causing feeding difficulties. 3. How to Manage High Lipase Milk Several strategies can help you manage high lipase milk effectively. Scald the milk. Heating expressed milk to about 180 degrees Fahrenheit, or until you see tiny bubbles around the edges, and then cooling it quickly can deactivate lipase. Be sure to do this soon after expressing to preserve the milk's taste. Freeze the milk immediately. Freezing expressed milk right away can slow the breakdown of fats, keeping the milk fresh for a longer period. Blend with fresh milk. Mixing thawed high lipase milk with fresh milk can help mask the taste, making it more palatable for the baby. Experiment with taste acceptance. Some babies may adjust to the taste over time. Try offering the milk during feedings when your baby is hungrier, as they may be more willing to drink it. These methods can help minimize the impact of high lipase on milk storage and feeding. 4. When to consult a lactation consultant. If you're having trouble managing high lipase milk, or if your baby consistently refuses it, Consider consulting a lactation consultant. They can offer personalized advice, assess feeding challenges, and provide additional tips for milk storage and feeding techniques. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.